today we're going to be working on a Nebraska quarter. We'll be making this into a ring here in just a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Let's punch a hole in it. If you've never seen me before, I'm Coin Ring Maker. I make coins into rings. If you'd like to get a coin ring made by me, there's a link down by the chat you can tap on. A website on my profile, or you can just tap on that pinned link there. Pull up my shop. Lots of cool coins I make into rings. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the chat. All right, I'm gonna punch a hole in this. There we go. Here's our Nebraska center punch. Nice sun rays and a little wagon and some ox in there. Pretty cool. If y'all wouldn't mind tapping the screen, we got about 400 people in here and 13 likes. So y'all tap away. Tap that screen for me. There is our punched coin. Don't forget to check out the website. The link is down by the chat. It's also on my profile. And now we're gonna clean up that inside cut edge right there. It's nice and sharp. We're going to use our deburring tool, make that nice and smooth. Now this is kind of the slow boring part, so if you wouldn't mind tapping the screen. If you haven't followed me, go ahead and give me a follow. If you have any questions, put them in the chat. We're going to be making this quarter into a size 9 ring today. No, it's not against the law to alter currency if you're doing it for educational or art purposes. Uh, if you do it fraudulently, like taking a penny and making it look like a dime, that is illegal. So fraud and counterfeiting against the law. Uh, making jewelry, not against the law. If you've ever seen like a penny smashing machine at an amusement park or a museum, this is very similar legally to that. If you'd like to learn more about it, I do have a blog post on my website, coinringmaker.com. It dives pretty deep into the law around making jewelry out of coins. No, you're good. Uh, for now, I just collect it. Eventually, I will melt it down and make something out of it. Just, that's the first time today. But we just started, so we'll see how it goes. Almost always, as soon as I answer it, somebody else asks it, so. We'll see how long it takes before someone else asks. There's our quarter. We got the inside edge nice and clean. If you'd like to get a ring from me, you can tap the gold chain down by the chat. What's your revenue last month? Ugh. It's actually been kind of slow. So if you guys want to help me out with that, go visit the website. ahead and give our coin a nice fold. No, um, you're wrong. It's, it's legal. As long as you don't fraudulently deface the currency. That's where you run into trouble. So this is called a doming block. On top of that, we've got a ball bearing. I'm just gonna give it a nice fold. Fold there, 
go ahead and fold this one more time. Using a 17 degree die. <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of lawyers here on TikTok. No lie, no lie. There we go. So now we're starting to get kind of a ring shape on here. It's looking pretty good. It's a pretty common misconception. I think a lot of people misunderstand it. So now what I'm gonna do is sand this cut edge right here and smooth that out a little bit. <laughs> well that's another thing I like to bring up is uh, if anybody knows of like a president yes or like an existing case where someone's going to jail for making coin rings and uh, I've never seen one there we go. So now we're going to take it over to the ring stretcher here. Try to prop my phone up so y'all can see. Now we know who to blame for the chain shortage. Oh ho ho! Sick of all. So this thing stretches our ring out. Get this one to a size nine. I'm gonna stretch it out to a size ten, and then reduce it down. Y'all go ahead and tap on that little gold chain by the chat. Y'all see that? Just tap that gold chain. Take a look around. If you're enjoying the live, make sure to tap the screen as well. We got that right to size 10 there. Take it over here. Damn, let's start shrinking it down. I don't know, man. I've been doing this for like three years. Live, public, on the internet, and uh, never had a single issue with law enforcement. Just people who think they know the law and then have to go Google it. So, mostly I've had problems with Google, I would say. But if you Google coin ring maker, guess who comes up number one, baby? This guy right here. That's right. So y'all Google that. Google coin ring maker. <laughs> That's the way to go. Karen's of TikTok. Oh, there we go. Size nine. Almost. I gotta hop off of here. Have a great day.